Hey guys, Melissa Sacco, your Beachbody coach from Make the Change, and I just created a video that was actually intended to be put into my private challenge group, but as I started rambling, I realized that it was pretty relative for a lot of people out there, so I wanna share it here with you instead. But I thought it was a really good topic to bring up and share with you because it's about really looking at the whole picture when you're on a health and fitness journey, and it truly is. So here's where I came from before Beachbody. Logged my food with my fitness pal every day consistently for about a year and a half. Worked out 60 to 90 minutes a day, seven days a week, every day for over two years. Very rarely did I take a break. Even when I've, I mean, I was like sinus infection on antibiotics, still wasn't taking a break because I was not losing the last 10 pounds and I could not feel better. My digestion sucked and my migraines were out of control. I was exhausted and frustrated and I was saving calories for Sour Patch Kids. Legit, 50 calories in one of those little mini Sour Patch Kids packets. I can also tell you how many calories are in a Hershey Kiss, how many calories are in a mini Twix bar, how many, see where I'm going with this, how many calories are in a handful of pretzels. Logging calories is not going to make you healthy. It's not a bad thing to understand calories in, calories out. You have to expend more than you input if you wanna lose weight. But if you're not choosing the right kind of calories, then you're gonna be working against whatever your goals are. Regardless of what the scale says, you're not making healthy choices. So when you're feeding your body things like Sour Patch Kids, Hershey Kisses, stuff like that, that you're factoring into your calorie count, you're not gonna change the shape of your body the way you want to. If you're looking to trim up or lose inches or reduce the bloat, you're also really gonna struggle with regular bodily functions like digestion because if you're not feeding your body real clean whole food in the right quantities, then that's where you get into trouble. So that's where the 21 Day Fix has changed everything about my perspective on nutrition. The 21 Day Fix is those little colored containers where you measure out your foods and it tells you in the book exactly how many pr proteins you're supposed to eat, how many carbohydrates you're supposed to eat, but it also provides you with a clean food list. You're not gonna find Hershey Kisses on there, I'm sorry to tell you, that's not a clean food. There will be treats like chocolate, but you're gonna find an organic dark chocolate to satisfy that craving for that sweet, and that is fix approved. You're not gonna find Doritos but you will find organic corn tortillas on the fix, you know? So it's, it's not the calories, it's the ingredient and what you're putting into your body matters so significantly. So I don't care if you're eating 900 calories a day and, you know, um, working out an hour a day, you're not gonna, you're eventually gonna hit a plateau, you're not gonna feel good, your body's not gonna shape the way you want it to shape because you're not actually making a healthy lifestyle choice. So take a look at what you're putting in your body. Like read your labels from your food ingredients and just find foods in its cleanest, wholest form. Figure out the right portions and proportions based on your body and your goal. And that's where the 21 day fix comes in again. It does it for you. And then put it into play and make it a consistent daily effort. It is hard to avoid temptations. It is so hard to walk into a restaurant and not want to order like 10 desserts. It really is. But it's a choice that you have to make and put a priority on yourself. So um, I hope this helps you guys understand kind of just the basics of calorie counting and how that can work against you. Um, I also used to wear um, a heart rate monitor. So I had the Polar Fit 4, which I'm actually going to be strapping on today during my 22-minute hardcore workout because I want to um, see what the burn is during the workout. But what I never factored in was the afterburn. So when I would go to the gym, my obsessive compulsive issue was I needed to burn at least, my target, honestly guys, was a thousand calories. That was, that's just totally wrong. Just don't do that on a daily basis. You cannot try to burn a thousand calories in an hour and a half at the gym. It is a bad way to live. So um, I never took into account the fact that your body continues to burn calories based on your workout, like um, high intensity interval trainings, 
those are going to be um, bigger calorie burners. When you're incorporating weights, those are gonna be bigger calorie burners. There's different targeted muscle groups that are gonna give you a better afterburn, like your legs. Working your legs is a significant um, way to burn calories, but I never calculated that in. So when I was logging in my Sour Patch Kids, I was not factoring in the calories that I burned after I spent an hour and a half at the gym. So I was essentially starving myself and I was starving myself of actual nutrition. I was filling it with pretzels and Hershey Kisses and Sour Patch Kids because I could not get control of my cravings. So if you are struggling and you need a, a starting point, please just comment below and I will help you kind of understand the basics. I'll provide you with some great information and some tools for you to kind of educate yourself. And um, if you'd like to pop into a challenge group, can do that too. All right, have a great day, guys. I'm gonna go hit my workout for 22 minutes.